What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Man here, and today we're taking a look at Gargoyles Quest 2 for the NES. This game was developed and published by Capcom in 1992. You take control of a demon named Firebrand, and while training, your home is destroyed by a mysterious black light, and it's your job to solve the mystery. And that's where the story begins. The graphics in this game are fantastic. Just look at these levels. Lots of colors, and the environments are varied, which helps the game from getting boring. The sprites are also fantastic. Overall, this is just a great looking NES game. The music is also very well done. It is often very somber, gloomy if you will, and of course, it fits this game's setting very well. The controls are simple enough. A is jump, press A again in midair and you can hover, and B is to fire the projectile that you have selected. You also have menus you can navigate to, which show your armor, your weapons, your nails, wings, etc. The first thing I notice is how fast Firebrand moves in the overworld and villages. Right away you just zip around. That's a huge breath of fresh air. In other games, I'm used to walking at a snail's pace, like in Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior. Both are great games, but you know, it's nice to walk fast. There are two modes of gameplay here, the overworld slash villages and the side-scrolling platforming stages. In the overworld, this game resembles Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior, and that's awesome. But instead of random battles and leveling up, you have platforming stages and you find items throughout the game which makes Firebrand stronger. You learn about the story, the game world, and what to do next by talking to NPCs. If you hate to read, there isn't much of it. You can get armor which increases your life meter, nails which increase your jump height, wings which increase the length of time you're able to hover, and you can acquire new weapons which all have their purpose. Like for example, this tornado. It allows you to shoot platforms which help to find and access hard to reach areas. There are other items you obtain, such as vials, which are currency, and maelstrom, which are extra lives. There are other items as well, but they are quest items, and they're usually used for just advancing the game. Now, in Gargoyles Quest 2, the level designs are top-notch. These levels and boss fights were designed with Firebrand's abilities in mind, and it shows. When it comes to difficulty, well, this game isn't easy. Some enemies will appear at random, and if you're unlucky, they'll appear in places where it is very difficult to avoid. Also, this stage here, yeah, this jump is ridiculous. First time playing, I probably died 20 times trying to figure out how to make this jump. Like, why? Why did they decide, screw you, have fun with this jump? It didn't have to be that way. Well, just so you don't have to struggle with it, I'll show you what to do. Get as close to the edge as possible, and jump as high as you possibly can. And when going right, let off the hover a few times like this. Yeah, we got it. But this jump is an asshole. Now, getting back to the difficulty, it's not as hard as other games like Battletoads and Castlevania, but it can still be a challenge to complete. Thankfully, this game never sets you back too far if you die, and there's also a password system so you may return later. So if I were to play Battletoads, I would give up after a few game overs because I just got sick of having to replay the whole game over and over again. It's nice when you receive a password, the game automatically stores it so if you die, you respawn at the last place where you obtained the password. So that asshole jump I was talking about? Well, at least I could keep trying until I got it. If you turn the game off though, you'll have to enter the password, which probably goes without saying. So that's Gargoyles Quest 2. It's a great game with impressive visuals and music and fun gameplay. If you're a game collector, well, the cart isn't cheap. But if you just want to play it, I'm sure you guys can find a way. I give Gargoyles Quest 2 an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching.